we are beginning tonight with some big twists in what has become a mystery over why the King City Police Chief was fired. News broke yesterday. Tonight, questions linger over why he was canned after less than four months on the job. Action News reporter Bryn Whitaker was in King City today looking for answers. She's live right now with our top story. Bryn? Dan, nobody is talking. We went to the city manager as well as other city leaders and the acting police chief, the same acting police chief who is under investigation as well. It appears as soon as I start looking at the unsolved homicides, I'm terminated. 28 unsolved homicides in King City were former police chief Ron Forgay's priority. But when he started digging, he says he found what could have been police officers turning a blind eye out on crime scenes. It seems like these, there was follow-up, and all of a sudden, then the follow-up stops. And it was just a pattern of, and I, I wanted to start looking at what officers were on the scene. Did someone come on the scene and make a, make a quick right-hand turn, and they should have kept going straight. With the case. Forgay says he called in an FBI agent to help him sort through those hunches he had. He says the agent got back to him last week, and then the following week, he ends up fired. And I was holding people accountable, and I think that's where the pushback came from accountability. People did not want to be held accountable. And then there's the letter from the Police Officers Association accusing the new interim chief, longtime commander Alex Torado, of favoring her brother last June, even saying she stepped in and stopped officers from taking him to the county jail. Forgay says he would have done an internal investigation if he had the chance. Had this been brought up earlier, I would have been more than happy with an internal affairs investigation. And I'm sure Alex would have welcomed one too. But the accusations against Toronto are according to the Police Officers Association. The, the mayor the says he is. has faith in her leadership and 30 years of experience. She's highly respected within the community, and she is extremely capable of, of this new role for her, which and she has performed in that capacity as we've gone through some of these transitions over the last year and a half. So she's fully capable to be the acting police chief right now. As for what's next for King City, they hope to have a new chief picked by Monday. While they wait, residents are demanding answers from the city manager who decided to fire Forgay. I want him to speak up and say why this is happening, and I'm very frustrated. I am not a quitter, and I want people in King City to know that I did not quit them. I never quit them, and I never will. Now, City Manager Michael Powers refused to speak with us on camera because he says this is a personnel issue and that he cannot release the reason for this termination. Dan? All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Bryn.